and we're checking out their aquaponics system. They're growing an amazing variety of foods and herbs and vegetables here, all using aquaponics. Yeah, fish and plants together in a closed loop system, and they built it all themselves. Look at this hoop house with the shade cloth, and this is Duraskrim material over blocks, just standard concrete blocks like you can buy at Lowe's or Home Depot. They built this themselves. It's beautiful. It's hugely productive, and they're making a living by producing this food using aquaponics. Let's take a look. Look at this amazing chard. Look how healthy these leaves are. They're just amazing. Now let's, this is a, in a raft system. It's actually a floating raft here. You see the foam? And this water is highly oxygenated and the roots hang down in the water. Check this out. See? Whoa! <laughs> That's the root system for this plant. Super healthy, getting access to all the nutrients. Let's even get it back in there. That's how these grow in these rafts. This is aquaponics, and this water is fed by the fish. It's the nutrients from the fish that the bacteria turn into the food for the plants. And you see the bubbles down there? That's the oxygenation in there. Here at Sand Creek Farm, they use blowers to push oxygen into the water everywhere to raise what's called the DO level, dissolved oxygen. Both the plants and the fish need high levels of oxygen to thrive. Now there's even more to this story underneath these floating rafts, you probably won't even be able to see them yet, but there's thousands of freshwater shrimp. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna grow to the size of large lobsters, bigger than my hand. At the same time that these plants are being grown, they're producing shrimp as a source of food, plus they've got fish in the water tanks. This is a food production mecca, right here in the middle of central Texas. See, look at the field out there, this is Texas. Check it out. Now this is a bed of young onions and everything grows faster in an aquaponic system. And as these onions mature, they will, of course, grow larger and become like this. Better than organic, super healthy. Onion greens, amazing. Ooh, cilantro. I wanna make some guacamole. Check out this hoop house growing a lot of lettuce. Now that sound you hear in the background is just some of the air that's being used to oxygenate these beds. Look how beautiful this lettuce is. How would you like to have that? in your own backyard. You can with aquaponics. We've also got many, many heads of red lettuce here. Check it out. We just have a uh, weave cloth. Looks like it's a polypropylene woven cloth on the ground, just stapled to the ground. And we have some young red lettuce here. It's uh, gonna grow and do really well here. This is the system. Let's go take a look at the fish tank. This is the guardian of the entire system right here. She's guarding all the aquaponics. Actually, she's waiting for fish to jump out of the fish tank, which is right here. Check it out. There's probably about 300 pounds of fish growing in this tank and feeding the gardens. The water from the raft beds is recirculated back into here. It's all oxygenated here with the blower that we saw earlier, and then the spillover water comes out of the tank and goes into its filtration system before finally ending up in the raft tanks, which are right here. This is what we've seen earlier. Rows and rows of beautiful lettuce and other plants just enjoying the sunlight and all the nutrients that are provided by the fish. And remember, the key is to push a lot of oxygen into this water. The roots of these plants love oxygen just as the fish do. And it's almost the more oxygen you can put into the system, the healthier everything is going to be. All right, this is the structure, the hoop house, that they're using to grow food. And here's what's interesting about it. You see these joints right here? You notice that these pipes are bent. And that's how you make a hoop house, is you bend the pipes. And then these large hoops are bent all the way across the top. They connect in the middle, and they finish down on the other side. You drill holes in the ground, usually with an auger on a tractor, and you put in concrete in those holes, and then you can build yourself a hoop house. And the brackets look like this. It just keeps the whole structure together. Now in the summer here in Texas, you're gonna use a shade cloth over it. And this is just one piece of cloth that covers the entire house, about 30 feet wide and about 100 feet long. You use lumber yard lumber to build the end and you put plastic on the end and that's permanent. Well, you change it whenever you need to, but you don't have to change it very often. And check out what they're doing over here. They are growing in the ground but using fish water. So the fish nutrients are piped through these irrigation lines in order to feed the plants on the ground. And these right here are a little bit dry, but look how healthy these vines are. 
wonderful cucumbers. You see the see the baby cucumbers starting to form. Very healthy cucumbers. The trellising is just a simple uh, plastic wire, and they use T-posts as the support. The weeds are completely blocked by using this polypropylene woven cloth all along the floor. Well, almost completely blocked. There's a weed. There we go. That's my contribution to the farm. <laughs> but as you can see, this hoop house can grow a whole lot of food almost year round. So if you'd like to learn about some of this yourself, just go to sandcreekfarm.net. And if you're in the central Texas area, you can also buy raw dairy and raw dairy cheeses from their farm, directly on their farm. Just go to sandcreekfarm.net.